But the one thing I had a problem with, with regards to the motive, and Tom and I had discussed this, he gets the cha- he shoots the president. He is now in a press conference. He is the intention of the entire world, and he doesn't say, I did this for Marxism. I did this because this country sucks. I did this because of this. He says, I'm a patsy. Why didn't he take every assassin in the history of mankind has taken their assassination and used it as a platform for their political position? Okay, Al, in all deference to you, you're a very bright guy. You did not read the book that closely. You read it fast. No, I did read it that well, closely because we discussed this. We, we, we couldn't the, find the answers to all your questions are in the book. Well, no, okay. but, but the point, but I don't, okay, okay, I, think you, I think you beg the question no, on what you no, said no, with no, regards no. to I, that. I specifically uh, address this. Who said that because he wanted to do something 10,000 years from now that people would know about it, who said that, that uh, he didn't want to be alive for a certain period so he could enjoy uh, the, the congratulations of Moscow or Cuba? Who said he didn't want to live? He wanted to live, okay? So at some point, he probably would have done exactly what you, what you said. But he wanted to do it at his time. He wanted he wanted to live, okay? But that's begging the question. No, though, no, it's not begging the question. Because let, let's look at it this way. John Wilkes Booth kills Lincoln. Yeah, but how okay? can you compare him with that? We're talking Six about Oswald Six separate down the line. I can't talk but, about But you, Booth. Charles Guiteau, okay? You can't shoots, talk about these people. But all of them had a political position that they were espousing. Every one of them did it for politics. Every one of them did it because mm-hmm. they believed that they were right. Uh, Kozgowitz, whatever his name was, who shot... Um, uh, no, no. Well, we already, we already know that we don't know the exact reason that he but had he was in an fact, he may not have done it if Marina had taken him back the night before. Well, the, that, that's an that. interesting point. Okay, now about the Patsy thing, you didn't, you didn't read that in the book. I talked about that. I know you were talking see, about See, it. Joey, uh, they asked Oswald um, if he was guilty. He said, no, I'm just a Patsy. Now, what the, what the conspiracy theorists have, have run with... They said, what's he talking about? Well, he's a patsy for people yeah. who framed him, set up. the mob or the CIA. Yeah. But the context in which he was asked that question is, did you kill the president? You know what he said? He says, no, they're coming after me because I defected to the Soviet Union. He's talking about the Dallas authorities are prosecuting him because he defected to the Soviet Union. That's the context, and that's in the book, and apparently that slipped by you. No, it did that's not. Why, but when he said, I'm a patsy, he didn't imply that the CIA or the mob or the military complex. He was talking about the Dallas police coming after him because they were angry at him for defecting to the Soviet Union. And shooting Tippett. Yeah, right. and shooting tip. Yeah, of course. Okay, of course. and see, but maybe people don't realize this that that there was a police officer gunned down that same day, um, Officer Tippett, who was uh, who had approached uh, Oswald after the shooting and was shot by uh, Oswald. The Tippett point, which I know you do, put he, w- he wasn't killed. Tippett was killed. Tippett, Tippett was died. Killed. Was yeah. Tippett was killed, but Tippett was the one is, so is the part of the equation. Talk. Yeah. yeah, but he's the part of the equation that you did. You, you put a lot in a lot more about him than I've seen in any other book, really, about the Tippett situation. But that's another part of the, of the another part of the well, there's assassination. A great, there's a great book on the Tippett murder by uh, Dale Myers. Dale Myers book, right? You do you you mention that in there with Mellis, yeah, right. Uh, let, let's talk about Oswald's guilt. Uh, let, let me just start out with the uh, the rifle. Uh, if, even if it was a two dollar rifle, that was the murder weapon. Someone fired it, and there's no reason to believe that it wasn't Oswald when all the evidence points to him. So whether it was a crappy rifle or not, and by the way, the American Army uh, test-fired that weapon hundreds of times without a misfire, and they said it was the equivalent of the M1 rifle here in the United States, but it it was a $12 mail-order rifle. But it's really irrelevant because that was uh, uh, the murder weapon. Eight firearms experts from the House Select Committee and the Warren Commission came to that conclusion. And you know how they determine that. You know, they test fire the weapon and then they can uh, they take the test fire bullets, put them under a comparison microscope with the evidence bullets, and they see if the striations ma- right. match up. And, and if they do, that, that means that that's the weapon. So that was the weapon. And whether it cost a million dollars or two dollars is irrelevant. Uh, it was a murder weapon. Now, on the difficulty of what Oswald did, uh, it really wasn't that 
difficult at all. Have you ever been up to the window, Michael? No, I haven't. Uh, I've been to the building, up, but not up to the window. Well, if you go up to that window and you imagine holding a, uh, a rifle, the barrel of the rifle is really pointed virtually on a straight line down Elm Street, the direction mm-hmm. in which the presidential limousine was, was traveling. Uh, there's a 3.9 declination of that road. The relevance of that is that it tends to eliminate the necessity of elevating the muzzle as the uh, the limousine gets farther away from the um, window. The the limousine was traveling 11 and a half miles an hour, very, very slowly. So the president was almost a stationary target then. Absolutely. I asked my firearms guy in London, uh, I don't want to put any words in your mouth, I said, but was the president essentially a stationary target? He said um, he said he was. And let's talk about how accurate he was. Uh, we have to assume that he's aiming at, at the head. I mean, that's the most mm-hmm. vulnerable part of the body. Well, the first bullet misses the limousine completely, and there's a reason for that, uh, among which is that the oak tree was about to come off, so uh, I mean, to, to come into view, and uh, so he had to fire it very, very quickly. The second shot hit the upper right back, exited the front of the throat, meaning it missed the head, uh, which we assume is a target. And the third shot hits the, uh, the th- third shot hits the head. So that's one out of three. The other thing the the conspiracy theorists have, uh, I don't know if they've lied about or just they don't have knowledge, they say he did it in 5.6 seconds. No, he didn't do it in 5.6 seconds. The first shot was fired around 160. The uh, head shot at frame 313. This is, the, oh, you're talking about the Zapruder film, the various yeah, Zapruder frames film. of the yeah, Zapruder yeah, film. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Yes, yep. yes. Oh, I'm speaking too, too, too quickly here. And I believe that comes out to 8.2 seconds. And also, you've got to realize, Michael, the, the clock starts to run uh, with the first shot uh, because uh, the first shot, he's got all the time in the world to prepare. All he has to do is pull the trigger. So it's had, already in the base, magazine. Yeah, that's right, yeah. right. So in, uh, in the chamber, yeah. In the chamber, and, yeah. Uh, and actually, then he only had, uh, so he had about 8.2 seconds to fire two rounds. So what he did was not that uh, unbelievable. The buffs uh, have said no one's ever duplicated what Oswald did. Uh, that's not true. Uh, a specialist Miller in the Army at the time of the Warren Commission duplicated what Oswald did in 1967. An expert from CBS beat Oswald what he did. My firearms guy in London beat what Oswald did, so. Uh, and also another lie they tell is that Oswald could hit the broad side of the barn of a barn. He was a poor shot. Wrong. He fired a two twelve in the military. Uh, he was a sharpshooter. He was not an expert, but he was a sharpshooter. So he wasn't that bad a shot. All right. The other theory, the grassy knoll, that in fact the president was shot from the grassy knoll to the front and to his right because the Zapruder film shows the head snap back. And this was this is proof, say the conspiracy theorists, that there were two shooters, one of them in the grassy knoll. Yeah, the, 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 the head snapped to the rear. If, if you look at the uh, Zapruder film, at frame 313, you see the explosion to the president's head, and uh, you see that 8-inch snap to the rear. And that was first shown on national television in the United States in 1975. It was a national show, uh, Geraldo Rivera, I think it was... Good Night America or something like that. But an enormous number of people saw it. And the next day over the water cooler, you know, there was discussion everywhere that the shot must have come from the front where the grassy knoll was, not from the rear where Oswald uh, supposedly was in the book depository building. Ergo, uh, there must be a a conspiracy. Now, here's the answer to that. Um, If you look at the individual frames of the Zapruder film, you cannot see it if you look at the film itself. You cannot see it. You have to look at the individual frames. At frame 312, uh, the president's head uh, uh, is okay. At frame 313, now there's 18.3 frames per second in the Zapruder film, one eighteenth of a second per frame. At frame 313, that's the head shot, you see the explosion uh, of the head. In what direction is the president's head pushed at frame 313? Well, it's pushed slightly forward, 2.3 inches, indicating what? Indicating a shot from the rear where Oswald was. So at that all-important moment of impact, uh, the president's head was pushed forward, not backward, indicating a shot from the rear where Oswald was. And And then at frames 314 to 321, you see this head snap to the rear on the film. The pathologist uh, for the House Select Committee said it was a neuromuscular reaction. Uh, I believe they use words like uh, nerve damage uh, caused by the bullet to the president's brain caused his back muscles to tighten, which in turn caused his head to snap 
snap to the rear. But uh, that that is a big issue there, uh, the head snap are, to the rear. Are we absolutely certain, this event happened 44 years ago, are we absolutely certain how many bullets were fired from how many guns? Well, the overwhelming majority of people in um, Dealey Plaza heard three shots. Some heard four, one heard eight, a couple heard two. Uh, Dealey Plaza resounds with um, uh, echoes. Uh, I have a photo in Reclaiming History showing the sniper's nest uh, when they first, when the authorities first uh, uh, located it after the assassination. Right. And you see three cartridge cases on the floor right beneath the sixth floor window where Oswald shot Kennedy. No fourth bullet has ever been found. Uh, so, you know, we can't be a thousand percent positive, but uh, all of the evidence indicates that only three shots were fired. The first shot, as I said, missed the president. Second shot entered his upper right back, exited the front of his throat. The third shot exited or entered the upper right head uh, behind the head of the president and exited the right frontal portion of his head. 